we are blessed with <laughs> Bishop Larry Gators. Sir, I'm glad we got you here. I was starting to get a little nervous. I thought no, I, was- I apologize. Yeah, I, I thank you so much. Uh, you're such a patient man. And, and Brother Scott, you're doing a magnificent job. I love you, brother. How to respect you. And I am excited to be back on the Patriot the Street Fighter show here tonight. We're glad to have you, brother. I um, had somebody, I got to throw this at you because it came at me t- like twice. And I don't know, you know which track you're going down tonight, but um, my, uh, my uh, executive advisor, Ron Partain, had sent this to me one or two times. And, I, and he's asking, um, as you're coming in tonight, and he said, see, where are you? Uh, we got to get, we got to get this answered. Hmm. Uh, you better text me, Ron Partain, like right away, because I'm going to get Bishop on a track. Uh, once he goes, no stopping it. That's it. <laughs> ship. He had a very specific question. It might have had to do with Bush one and, um, might have been the riots in South Central LA. Uh, Where is it? Yeah. You have something on that that you might have talked about. Yeah, this? you know what? Let me touch on that quickly. Oh man, wow. That that's a great Bush one um, by the brother. Well, I, I you know, as we go into volume three of uh the global declaration of war parabellum, which means in the time of peace prepared for war, and kind of a uh offshoot or um, a subtopic uh, would be uh, the downfall of the coming Biden crime syndicate in connection to the to, uh, 13 and Lomanani families. But going back to um, the LA riots, um, it was the goal of the CIA, okay, uh, along with the FBI to continue to neutralize black Americans, especially uh, any black Americans with conservative thinking. And so the Rodney King case uh, was built on lies. Now, don't get me wrong. Those cops deserve the fullest penalty of the law. I have no problem with that. But there is a piece of the film, uh, Brother Scott McC-